Make your way into your child's pose, please. Bring your hips to your heels and let your forehead sink to your mat. And then just find a super supported, comfortable shape to settle into here. As you find your stillness, start to think about your breath. Without changing it, just notice all of its qualities. Does it have any temperature or any texture to it? Are you breathing really deeply already? Or maybe it's still really shallow. Slowly start to lengthen your inhales and slow down your exhales so that your breaths in match the length of your breath out. Remember what this breath feels like throughout class. This is the breath that you'll always come back to if you notice that your breath starts to get really choppy you find that you're straining or maybe you're holding it all together. Use this breath as your home base, as your monitor for how hard to push yourself. You can always back out of the poses a little bit. And if that's still not enough to regain your breath and connect your breath to your movement, you can always come back to this child's pose at any time you need to. Sometimes the strongest choice for yourself is to listen to your body when it's asking you to do a little bit less. And when you can start to do that consistently on your mat, listen when you need to do less, listen when you need to push yourself a little bit further. You can start to bring that into your everyday life to find calm and to push yourself through the times that don't feel all that calm. We're going to take some breaths together to help release heat, tension, and then also just to bring your mind back to your breath. So press your air out with an SH. Inhale to fill all the way up. And then sigh it out, HA. Yeah, your breath sounds super awesome. You can take those breaths anytime throughout class, regardless of whether or not I've cued them. Start to wake up your child's pose, wiggle your fingers, your toes. You might shift your forehead side to side. Let the motion travel down your spine into your hips. And then gently stretch your fingers so far forward that your wrists and your elbows lift off your mat. Spread your fingers super wide. And then shift your weight forward into a tabletop position. Stack your hips over your knees, shoulders over your wrists. Bring your hands a little bit wider than you think, than you think they should go, closer to the sides of your mat. We're going to take a couple cat-cow cycles here. So on your inhale, drop your belly, lift your chin, your tailbone for cow pose, and on your exhale, round through your spine, tuck your chin for cat pose. Keep moving through these cat cows all on your own to the pace of your breath. And then if you feel like you want some extra movement, you can move your hips side to side, snake through your spine. Do anything that feels really good to you. These beginning moments of class are your opportunity to just move through every area in your body, get a sense for what areas might need a little bit more attention throughout class, what areas feel really loose, really 
open. And also just to continually check in with your mind. Where are you at? The next time you make it through your cat pose, find a flat, neutral spine. Press your weight into the palms of your hands. Press through the tops of your feet. Inhale to lift your right arm and your left leg toward opposite ends of the room for spinal balancing. Roll your left hip down slightly to keep it in line with your right. Reach your fingertips forward as you Pull your left heel toward the back of the room and feel for creating length all the way through your right side torso and your left leg. Take one more really deep inhale, press through your left hand, and on your exhale, come back to your tabletop. Inhale to lift your left arm, right leg, spinal balancing. You can point or flex your right toes. Just pick one, stick with it. Press through your right palm to lift out of your right shoulder. And feel for stretching your fingertips and your right heel in opposite directions to really lengthen through the entire body. Tuck your low belly in, take one more really deep inhale, stretch long. And exhale, back to all fours. Take some more cat cows all on your own. <sighs> on your next cat pose, tuck your toes underneath you. Lift your hips up and back. Find your down dog. Move it around once you get there. You might pedal out to your knees. You might lift your heels really high and then drop them towards your mat. Take any movement that feels nice and natural to you today. <sighs> Work your way into stillness and gaze between your hands. Bring your hands close to the edges of your mat so they're a little bit wider than shoulders with distance apart. Spread your fingers really wide here. Press into your index finger, your thumb, especially as you push your mat forward and away. Lift your hips up and back to lengthen through your spine. Drop your heels towards your mat to give your hamstrings a stretch. Inhale to lift your right leg up halfway. Go for length here. Pull your heel toward the back of the room. Inhale one more time, lift it all the way up. Bend at the knee, open through your hip, and take some movement on right side body. You can take really big movements or really little movements here with your hip, your knee, ankle, toes. You might even warm up your core and bring your knee to your nose or your elbows. Inhale to lift your right leg tall. And on your exhale, gently place it back down on your mat for your down dog. Inhale to lift your left leg up halfway. Go for length from your left hip to your left toe. <sighs> Inhale all the way up. And then bend at the knee. Take some movement on your left side. Even though we'll always balance out the postures on each side, you can always do something different if that's what your body is asking. Throughout class today, I really just encourage you to listen to the sensations that your body feels and make the changes that you need to. Inhale to lift your left leg tall. Exhale, gently place it back down. Soften your knees. Walk or hop toward the front of your mat. Forward fold. Separate your feet about hips width distance. You can put two fists between the arches of your feet to measure that out. And then shift your weight into the balls of your feet to stack your hips over knees and ankles. Get really heavy with your upper body. You might clasp your hands behind your neck, behind your low back, grab for opposite elbows. You might clasp your hands together and let your shoulders fall forward over your head. Wherever you are, take a really deep inhale. And exhale, bring your hands back towards your mat. Inhale, flat. 
flat back for your halfway lift. Press your hands against your shins, your thighs, and then pull your shoulders down your spine. Tuck your chin slightly. Keep your entire spine long. Inhale to reach the crown of your head forward. And exhale, forward fold. <sighs> Inhale all the way up to standing for your mountain pose. And once you get there, close your eyes. Or maybe just let your vision blur if you don't want to close them all the way. Shift your weight around in your feet until you feel really grounded through all four corners. And then once you've found your balance, lift up on your kneecaps to engage through your quads. Lengthen your tailbones towards your mat. Relax your shoulders. Inhale, look up, maybe take a slight back bend. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale for your halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, plant two hands down, step or hop back to your upper push-up and pause it. We're going to set up the flow here, so stack your shoulders over your wrists. And if you feel like you need some extra support, you can always flow with your knees down. Let your heels fall toward the back of the room. Tuck your low belly in and engage the muscles at the bottom of your glutes. Inhale to press through your hands. Exhale, lower down, half one. Inhale, untuck your toes, lift your chest forward and up for your upward facing dog. And then on your exhale, tuck your toes underneath you, lift your hips up and back, down dog. We're going to move through that a little bit more quickly. Soften your knees, walk or hop forward, forward fold. Inhale for your halfway lift. Exhale, let it go. Inhale all the way up and past your mountain pose. Take a back bend here if it feels good. And follow your exhale down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant two hands down. Go through your flow. Once you make it back to your down dog, take this sequence one more time on your own. And as you move through the postures, Really try to feel your body getting warmer and warmer. Notice if any of your if you notice if any areas start to feel a little bit looser as you move. Once you make it one time through, we'll meet back up in your down dog. Inhale your left leg high. Exhale, 
exhale, bring your foot between your hands. Keep your right heel lifted. Inhale for your crescent lunge. Scissor your inner thighs together. Walk your left foot toward the left side of your mat if you need to. Engage through your left glute here to help you stay balanced. Inhale to reach out of your waist. Exhale, warrior two. Find that stable base here. Line your left heel up with the arch of your right foot. And then feel for pulling your right hip slightly back to keep your hips open toward the side wall. Relax your shoulders, tuck your chin slightly. Inhale to reach really long. And exhale, two hands down, go through your floor. When you make it back to down dog this time, you're gonna take crescent lunge and warrior two all on your own, one time on each side. Let your breath dictate how fast or how slow you move. These one breath, one movements are really just your opportunity to get to know yourself a little bit better. Whether you bring that attention to your physical body or to the mind or to your breath. Try to pay attention to at least one thing and notice how it feels. Stay and breathe through it. 
maybe those noisy breaths help you. Maybe closing your eyes or smiling. Take an inhale, sit one inch lower, lift your ribs a little higher. And on your exhale, forward fold, release. Let it all go. Take a full breath cycle here. Inhale to get full. Feel yourself fill up. And exhale, let it all go. Inhale for your halfway lift. And on your exhale, plant two hands down, step or hop back, and go through your foot. Whatever your body needs 
So make it through this sequence, even if that means changing it up a little bit. If one of the options that I've offered doesn't work for you today, then you can always choose a different option. If you find that you're straining your breath or trying to muscle through the postures, maybe you try backing off a little bit. If that's still not enough, maybe you try using a really audible breath release some heat, some tension. And if that's still not enough, then maybe you go all the way down to your child's pose. Give your body, your mind, your breath a minute to catch up. And once it does, rejoin class when you're ready. Once you're back in your down dog, if your breath is with you, press your air out. Inhale, fill up. Sigh it out, H-A. We're gonna take one more. Take a really deep inhale. Seal your lips together, H-M. Soften your knees, walk or hop forward, forward, forward. This time, heel toe your feet together so that your toes touch, knees touch, thighs touch. Inhale for your halfway lift. Notice if your balance feels any different. Then on your exhale, forward, forward. Inhale, thunderbolt, sit your hips down and back, press your palms together. It's a whole lot like chair, except this time, everything squeezes toward the center of your body. Mm. Lengthen your tailbone towards your mouth. Feel the muscles along the back side body in each. If your shoulders sneak up by your ears, you can bring your hands farther down in front of your face to give them some extra room. And then really press through the pinky side edge of your hands to light up the muscles along your arms. Inhale, sit a little bit lower. Bring your hands down to heart center. Roll your shoulders down your back. And on your exhale, hinge forward, twist toward the right to hook your left elbow outside your right thigh for your prayer twist. If one of your knees pops out in front of the other, just pull your hip back in space to line them up. And then press your hands to the center of your chest to open up through your shoulders. Keep breathing here to stay really stable. Slowly begin to shift your weight into your right foot. Stay in your twist and lift your left heel up Take a gigantic step toward the back of your mat to land in your crescent lunge with a twist. If you wobble, if you fall out, that's totally okay. Just get back into it. Open up your hands for your flyaway release. Left arm down, right arm up. Keep your eyes in one spot to stay balanced. Inhale to reach really tall. On your exhale, lift your upper body up. Stay in your twist. Left arm forward, right arm back. Take an inhale to reach really long. And on your exhale, come back through center. Lift your arms overhead. Inhale to reach really tall. Exhale, burst open, warrior two. Find your stable base here. <clears throat> Inhale to reach long. On your exhale, side angle. Plant your right hand to the inside of your right arch. Lift your left arm tall. If the ground feels really far away from you today, you might bring your right forearm on top of your right knee. Feel for scooping your right hip underneath you as you 
roll your chest back to open up through your front side back. Inhale to reach really tall. On your exhale, circle your top arm down and forward for your extended side angle. The only thing that changes here is the position of your top arm. Press through your right heel. Inhale to lift your right arm up so that it's parallel to your left for your core strengthener. Roll your right shoulder slightly forward, left shoulder back to keep your front side body open. Hold here for three, two, one. On your exhale, release both hands to the inside of your right foot. We're gonna set up for your ankle bind here. Wrap your right arm underneath and around your right leg until you can rest your fingertips on top of your ankle. Interlace your fingers together. Relax your head completely. If you need to bring your back knee down for some extra support, you totally can, but if you can still breathe through it steadily with your knee up, keep your knee lifted. Take one more inhale, lift your hips high. On your exhale, unwind, reach your left arm tall. Inhale to reach tall, and on your exhale, bend your arm behind your back for your half bind. You might take your full bind and work your right arm underneath your right leg if that feels accessible to you. Wherever you are, take a really deep inhale, open up a little bit more. On your exhale, come all the way back to center, step your right foot back, take your flow. <sighs> and when you make it back to your down dog, shake it out a little bit because just did some super hard leg work. Give your body a rest for a second before we balance it out on the other side. Find some stillness. Walk or hop forward, forward fold. <clears throat> Heel toe your feet together. Inhale for your halfway lift. Get long through your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, thunderbolts. Sit your hips down and back. Press your palms together. Engage through all the muscles along your backside body. Press through your pinky side edge of your hands. Bring your hands down to heart center. Inhale to roll your shoulders down your back. Exhale, hinge forward, twist toward the left and hook your elbow outside your left thigh for your prayer twist. Keep your knees in line, pull your hips back if you need to. Release your right arm down, left arm up. Oop, just kidding. Put your hands back together. Not yet. <laughs> Press your hands to the center of your chest. Shift your weight into your left foot and lift your right heel, bend your right toes to take a huge step to the back of your mat for your crescent lunge. Keep your right heel lifted. Stay in your twist here. It's totally fine if you came out of it. Just get back into it. Now you can release your right hand down, left arm up. Take an inhale to reach really long. And on your exhale, come up, stay in your twist with your left arm back, your right arm forward. Just a spinal twist. Inhale to reach long here. On your exhale, come back through center, lift your arms overhead. Inhale to reach really tall. And exhale, warrior two. <sighs> Find your stable base here. Line up your left heel with the arch of your right foot. Inhale, reach long. Exhale, side angle. Plant your left hand down. Maybe you plant your left forearm on top of your left thigh. Try to stack your shoulders in one straight line from bottom to top. And then roll your left hip underneath you as you pull your right hip, right ribs back. Inhale to reach tall. Exhale, extended side angle. Circle your top arm down and forward to 
bringing your face. Rotate your bicep towards your face to give your shoulder a little bit more room. Press through your left heel. Inhale for your core strengthener. Lift your left arm up parallel to your right. Keep your low belly firm here. Roll your left shoulder slightly forward, right shoulder back to keep your front side open. Hold here for three, two, one. Release both hands to the inside of your left foot. We're gonna set up for ankle bind here. Try it with your knee up first, and if you find that you can't breathe there, then bring your knee down. Wrap your left arm underneath and around your left leg, and then interlace your fingers on top of your left ankle. Relax your head completely. Press your hips a little bit taller. Take an inhale, get full. And on your exhale, unwind, reach your right arm tall. Bend your right arm at the elbow for your half bind. If you want a little bit more, you can work your left arm underneath your left thigh. Reach for your right fingertips for your full bind. Wherever you are, inhale, open up a little bit more. And then exhale, come back to center. Step your left foot back, take your flow. Shake it out when you get back to down dog. You guys just did super strong work. <sighs> Find some stillness. Press your air out. Inhale, fill up through your belly, your lungs. Big sigh. <sighs> Heel toe your feet together so the toes touch, knees touch, thighs touch. Inhale for your halfway lift, reach through your spine. And exhale, forward fold. Soften your knees a little bit. And then on your inhale, roll up slowly all the way to standing. Once you get there, try to settle there without too much movement. We're going to do a little bit of balancing here, so figure out which foot is your right foot. You can place your left hand on your left hip, and then on your inhale, lift your right leg up, grab your knee with your hand. If that's enough for you, you can stay there. We're going to do this in stages. If you want a little bit more, you can release your hand from your knee and grab for your right big toe. If that's enough, you can stay there. But if you can start to straighten into your right knee, bring your left or your right foot forward and straighten your right arm. That's as far as we're going to go. Try to stay really grounded in your left foot. Take an inhale to reach your right leg long. And on your exhale, slowly release your right leg all the way back down to your mat. Shake it out a little bit if you need to. And then if your feet came apart, just bring them back together. Place your right hand on your right hip. Inhale to lift your left leg up. Grab your left knee with your left hand. If that's enough for you, stay here. If you want a little bit more and you're feeling steady, use your left hand to grasp your left big toe. You can stay here if that's enough, but if you want a little bit more of a stretch in your hamstring, you can lengthen your left leg long in front of you. Stay lifted in your hips. Relax your shoulders. Inhale, get full. And then exhale, slowly release your left leg all the way to your mat. Shake it out a little bit once you get there. And then inhale to lift your hands overhead. Reach tall, maybe take a back bend. 
Follow your exhale all the way down, forward fold. Inhale for your halfway lift, reach your spine long. And exhale, forward fold. Plant two hands down, step back to your upper push-up and pause. We're gonna do a few yogi push-ups here. If you need to bring your knees down for some extra support, go ahead and do that. Stack your shoulders over your wrists. Let your heels fall toward the back of the room. Inhale to press your mat away. Exhale, lower down halfway. Inhale, lift yourself back up. Exhale, lower down halfway. Inhale to press yourself up. Exhale, lower down halfway. Last one. Inhale, press yourself up. And on your exhale, go through your flow. Press your air out here. Inhale, get so, so full. Exhale, sigh it out. Inhale to lift your right leg tall. Bring your foot between your hands. Keep your left heel lifted. Inhale for your crescent lunge. You've done this a whole lot throughout class. Find your balance here. We're just going to hold here. Deepen your lunge. Stack your right knee over your right ankle. Inhale to lift out of your waist. And exhale. Two hands down. Step back. Go through your flow. <sighs> Inhale to lift your left leg tall. Exhale, sweep it between your hands. Keep your right heel lifted. Inhale, crescent lunge. Find your balance here. Keep your eyes in one spot to stay a little bit more stable. Inhale to lift out of your waist, sit a little bit lower in your lunge. Exhale, two hands down, step back, take your flow. <sighs> Inhale to lift your right leg tall, open up through your hip. And on your exhale, draw your right knee towards your right wrist. Set up for half pigeon. Keep your right knee wider than your right hip. And then lengthen your left leg along behind you. Untuck your left toes. Let your hips sink toward your mat. And slowly fold your upper body over your front leg. Find a place to rest your forehead. That can be on a mat. A block, maybe your hands or forearms. Just find a place that you're not holding any of your body weight up. And if you feel any sharp shooting pains in your front knee, you can always flip onto your back and do a figure four instead. We've done a whole lot of movement throughout class that required a lot of body strength, but also a lot of strength in your mind. Strength to listen to what your body is telling you, to breathe a little bit deeper, maybe get out of the pose altogether. And even taking child's pose when you need it to. Those moments where you're making choices for yourself based on the experience that you are having are all moments of strength. Sometimes when you're in the thick of things and you're making choices, it can be really, really challenging to see those choices as strong moments. But both on your mat and outside of your mat in your everyday life, anytime 
time you make a choice with an intention behind it. That's always a reflection of your strength. Press your air out here. Get so, so empty. Inhale, balloon through your right hip. And sigh it out. <sighs> yourself back up. You might travel through a flow or you might simply press your hips up and back to down dog. Once you make it back to your down dog, your half pigeon is moving on your left side. Inhale to lift your left leg tall and then exhale to set up for your half pigeon. Let your hips sink towards your mat before you fold over your front leg. And then find a place to rest your head that's comfortable to you. Notice if it's easier to keep your breath steady on this side than it was on the previous side. Now that we've been in stillness for a little bit longer. And with every exhale, just sink a little bit deeper. Help gravity do its work here. Gently release all of your air here. Inhale, fill up. And sigh it out. <sighs> Slowly begin to press yourself up. Maybe travel through your last flow of class. Or simply go back to your down dog. Work your way into stillness. Shift your weight forward into an upper push-up. You can bring your knees down if you want to, but if you can breathe through it, leave them up through this last little bit of work. We're going to lower down slowly on a count of five, four, three, two, one. Keep your chin in front of you and bring your hands behind you with your palms face down. Bring your big toes so that they touch. Press your air out. Anchor your hips to your mat. On your inhale, lift your chest, your legs, your feet for your locust pose. Squeeze your shoulder blades together behind you. Squeeze through your glutes, your low back to lift a little bit higher. Take an inhale, lift one more rib off your mat. And on your exhale, release to your mat. Flip your palms to face the ceiling. Bring an ear to your mat. 
Take a second to just breathe, relax. If you lengthen your inhales and your exhales, it will help slow down your heart. Bring your chin back to the center of your mat. Flip your palms toward the floor. Bring your feet together behind you. Press your air out. Inhale, locust pose. If you want something a little bit different, you can play around with interlacing your fingers, pressing your palms together, and pulling your shoulder blades together a little to lift you a little bit higher. Take one more inhale, lift up a little bit more. And exhale, release your opposite ear to your mat. Hands to your sides, palms face up. You might take some windshield wipers with your legs if that'll help your back feel a little bit looser. Maybe you shimmy your hips or just breathe really, really deeply and fully into your belly. your arms overhead and point your toes. Take a really big inhale, full body stretch. And exhale, bring your knees into your chest. Give them a really big, tight hug. Maybe rock side to side, back and forth. You might press your palms against your knees and do little circles with your knees. Anything to help you release your low back a little bit. Feel ready, press the soles of your feet together, open your knees up for your supine butterfly. You can interlace your hands around your feet, maybe place them on your ankles, your shins. Take one more inhale to press your feet together, open through your knees, and exhale into your happy baby. Stack your ankles on top of your knees, keep your knees wider than your hips. Now is your time to get really playful before the stillness. So you might rock side to side, you know, flutter up your lips. You might take a lion's breath with your eyes wide open, sticking your tongue out. Anything that feels good here is fair game. You can release your legs long in front of you. Let your heels, your toes spill open. Let your hands fall to your sides, palms face up. And if you want to feel a little bit more connected to yourself, you might place your palms somewhere on your body. Most importantly, once you settle into your stillness, let your eyes close. Peel your tongue away from the roof of your mouth. And feel for letting your eyes fall closer and closer to the back of your skull. Shavasana. Thank you all so, so much.
challenge for practicing with yoga to the people, for tuning in to our YouTube channel, subscribing, and donating what you can. Even though the doors to studio are physically closed for now, it's a really, really wonderful thing that we still get the opportunity to connect with each other through yoga on this online platform. Our link to donate is below the video. Please give what you can if you're in a position to donate. We'll end class with a quote. And the rain of the singing bowl. Once the singing bowl has quieted, you're free to linger in your Shavasana as long as you'd like. I encourage you to stay a little bit longer than usual if it feels good. Today's quote is from Pima Chadram. To stay with that shakiness, to stay with a broken heart, a rumbling stuck, with the feeling of hopelessness and wanting to get revenge. That is the path of true awakening. Sticking with that uncertainty, getting the knack of relaxing in the midst of chaos, learning not to panic. This is the spiritual path getting the knack of catching ourselves, of gently and compassionately catching ourselves, is the path of the warrior. We catch ourselves one zillion times as once again, whether we like it or not, we harden into resentment, bitterness, righteous indignation, harden in any way, even into a sense of relief, a sense of inspiration.